As you know, I was expected to receive my new car today, the 2018 BMW M4 LCA with competition package. But uh, they had some, uh, you know, delays in the system. They need to update the iDrive for the latest version because I was very particular this time that they need to do that. And it seems that uh, what time is it now? Almost four o'clock p.m. And of course, all the updates have to go to the Germany server, and this need to send them specific codes. And uh, so I did not want to, uh, I told them, take your time and unless the car will be ready by the end of the day, then we'll take it. Otherwise, we'll come back tomorrow, hopefully. But I have something nice, so I'm not very mad because they gave me a brand new car. And for 2017 convertible, it's in you. Let me show you. Here. You can see the car is 98 kilos only. Of course, it has the latest side drive as well. The interior is Amaro Brown and of course you recognize the color Austin Yellow. Pretty weird combination. The car is not fully loaded, as you can see it's not fully leather, but it will do the job for today hopefully. So guys, even this car is not for me and the agency were very nice. I'm gonna treat it as it is my car. Because it's a new car, I'm not gonna be able to press it so much. I'm not really disappointed, or I don't really care too much because the actual car that I'm driving is brand new. It's only 99 kilos, now it's 120 or something. So basically, they're very, very generous to give me a brand new car for the time being so that means I can't drive the car very hard guys and that means that I will not have my new car until some time now god damn this construction it's never gonna end in this area so I'm very like careful when it comes to stones on the road rocks any kind of construction So my first impression about the car, does it drive better than my 2016? Believe it or not, I feel the chassis is a little bit more like, I don't know, all put together, I can say. Mind you though, this is not a competition packet. This is just a regular M4, but it's convertible. So I realized something that maybe people don't really see that the actual acoustic sound noise of the engine coming through the speaker, it sounds a bit different than the normal one. So I can't really drive the car guys more than 3,500 or so and I don't mean to anyways because uh, this is not cool, this is a new car so we don't want to, you know, ruin it. So back to my point, I was saying that does this car feel different? It does. It's more well put together for some reason and it's better isolated. Mind you, this is a convertible so you have the roof. I'm very pleased that the new I drive here. It looks so much better and the features are way cooler than the iDrive 4 but apart from that the car is identical from the inside there is not even one single light or option is different of course uh, this is the Austin yellow from the outside and Amaro brown black from the interior very weird combination but for some reason it looks kind of luxury and fancy I love this uh, you know the combination if it comes to uh, uh, you know the blue color or something like i don't know maybe black but um, also the car comes with heated seats for a reason so light is going we need to do some more footage guys um why i'm late because believe me there's not really much you know i could do i just want to give you a little bit of a hint you know and the difference since i already have this car and i just got back to work very late I even I took a shower, nap for 30 minutes, ate my lunch, very late lunch, and come back just to share this with you guys because 
I promise you this time is, I'm gonna put more stuff on my channel any kind of footage regarding a beautiful car especially the M4 I'm gonna put it for you I'm gonna share it with you so now you can really see the difference between the 2016 coupe and the convertible of 2017 don't get me wrong this is amazing car guys seriously I mean yes the convertible is a bit heavier for a reason but uh, I'm not really sure if you can feel it actually you do a little bit but I'm not really pressing the car so much so difference guys it sounds a bit deeper and mind you the exhaust is still closed because it's less than a thousand kilometers it's just 123 kilometers it's brand new for God's sake and I'm not driving the car at all of course BMW guys they're not gonna come every year and tell you updated the car a little bit here and there they're not gonna do that even on papers the updates are very minute but in reality with every model 2014 15 16 17 they keep trying to find something that they can you know upgrade or improve that's normal right with every phone with every car so i'm not driving the car guys and it sounds very deep i love the sound this 2017 so from my experience as an owner not a reviewer only a daily you know owner as well of the m4 i think I'm very lucky to see the difference between 16, 17 and the 18 and I drive all of them, you know. I'll try very fast to just uh, take some shots from the outside. Hopefully you're gonna see the color and how the car looks. But don't expect it's gonna be a brilliant quality because again, there is no light. Let me try to park here. I think in this open area we're gonna be able to see more you know, of the car, hopefully. So here we go, guys. The 2017 BMW M4 convertible. Now it's yellow. There's a lot of talk regarding this color. Some they hate it, some they love it. Some they say it looks good in daylight. Some they say it looks good at night, whatever. So it's very subjective when it comes to that color. I think uh, the car looks pretty good. During the day when I picked up the car, it was much better. It was like gold now, it become to greenish. Personally, I'm not a fan of this color, but it looks different than other BMW cars on the street. So you can really see the difference between this M4 and different BMW from the color and the wheels, of course, and the white fenders. There is no competition back on this car. So all the side grill, emblems, logo, whatever, it's all in silver, but uh, still look very nice now as well the convertible to have this uh, unique shape because of the roof that goes inside there so guys let me go through the interior a little bit as you can see this is not fully leather amaro brown on the door seats those are the convertible seats As you can see, it's actually 125 kilometers on the car only. Unbelievable, right? Fully loaded, regular assistant aid options here. This is the iDrive, of course. Let me go to the menu, you'll see the difference. So now you can navigate like that, like my vehicle, there's different amp profile. Technology in action, the one that you have sports display, display and other stuff. You know, we're not gonna go through that guys now I can do a, a video hopefully with my new car later right regular BMW stuff from the M car with the heated seats of course if you want to see more interior videos and review of my BMW M4 I'm gonna put the link up so you can check it up so, and tell me what do you think guys nice interior this is how the car looks at night of course, I put the lights on so you can see some stuff. That's the new sports display. It looks pretty nice. Very nice. Guys, let's go to menu button. And I want to see if I can put the car. Um, hold on a second. Where is that option? Vehicle settings. Lights. Interior lighting. I want to put the... Uh, the classic 
so you have the red there of course something that only i saw in the 2018 model here in the middle east that the light of the central console it does not show as you can see it only shows in 2018 model i thought 2017 but it seems only 18. the actual i drive guys a new one it looks so much better than before and uh, i'm still not very uh, you know uh, how to say familiar with it somehow but uh, it looks pretty nice Due to service, please arrange an appointment. That means don't push the car during that time. As you can see the shape of the convertible guys, it looks kind of different from the coupe, but it still looks pretty good. Of course, those are the, uh, the standard lights from the old M4. The LCI have the different lights. Beautiful car. So just to recap the video, guys, uh, I know the light is gone almost well I'm not a big fan of the convertible I already mentioned that in different statement of different videos and of course this is something that uh, people can take advantage take off the roof they can hear the exhaust more they can experience more but I'm not a fan of that because I still prefer the shape of the coupe I like the, uh, the car to be as light as possible also something that you cannot find here on the convertible is the carbon uh, fiber roof of course so but apart from that you know the car looks almost the same as the regular M4 and feels almost the same As mentioned earlier the actual car feels a little bit different uh, in terms of driving the sound seems deeper and uh, the chassis seems a little bit more settled for a reason of course I did not push the car since the car is new so guys that's it for today don't forget to subscribe like my channel and see you very soon in the 2018 competition package and four man i can't wait for that as for now enjoy my channel so see you next time guys